Let's see a question on sale and leaseback. B Limited sold on 1st January 2019 a machine carrying value of 200,000 for 300,000. Clearly, he is selling it for more than the carrying value. So there is a profit you can say of 100,000. Lease back for five years and paying 50,000 per year. Implicit rate is 10% and the present value factor annuity is 3.791. Look into the table, see the five years and find out under 10% what is the factor. The payment is in areas. Now we need to work out the lease liability, right of use assets, amortization schedule, statement of financial position and profit and loss account. Again, it's not full-fledged statement. It is extract of balance sheet and in profit and loss account. Now the lease liabilities is very simple. 50,000 annual and the factor is there. To multiply, you got 189,550. That is your lease liability. Right of use assets. Here there is a small problem. You take the lease liabilities and take the fraction of carrying value with fair value. So 200 divided by 300,000 and then multiplied it by the 189,550. So your uh, right of use asset is that's one, two, three, six, double six. Now a general entry is also important because how, how much loss or how much profit we made in this. Yes. So look here, cash we are receiving because we are selling an asset. So we de-recognize the assets which we are selling. The property, plant and equipment we are selling of 200,000, the carrying value. And we are accepting the lease liabilities of 189,550. And the assets we have worked out, 126,366. The right of use asset is 126,366. Now if you balance this general entry, there is a difference. And that difference, debit is more than the credit and the difference is 36,806 and that is your gain on sale that's a balancing figure do you remember it happens sometime there can be a debit balancing figure so that will be a loss that will be taken to the income statement yeah now again we need to find out the amortization schedule that is again the liabilities are there opening balance and then interest on 10% and then payment and the principal and the closing liability. So similarly, here, you take it here, then from here to here, and then you just take it, all these figures like this. Again, the last year, interest expense, not exactly 4531, it is slightly different, but we need to balance it because we are supposed to pay a certain amount of interest and that it. 60,450. Again, the difference of the payments you make and the assets you buy. So, principal payments of the lease payments. Now, income statement, interest expense of first year, depreciation expense, and gain on sale. Because you have sold your asset and you made a gain on it, so that will also be reported in the income statement. So, for balance sheet is concerned, Property, plant and equipment, one you sold out is out. So that will not be reported anywhere here. The new assets, which is right of use assets, one, two, six, three, double, six, less the accumulated depreciation. And this again divided by four. Non-current liabilities and the current liability. In this case, current liabilities are 50,000, which you pay. And then the long term is the balancing given in the end of the year. Thank you very much.